springtime. It's all about green leaves, baby animals, and the mass blooming of flowers. And unfortunately, for people who have hay fever and asthma, lots of blooming plants means lots of pollen in the air. Hi, I'm Ed, I'm a botanist. And part of my job is to figure out just how much pollen is in the air by doing a daily pollen count. Pollen is a powdery substance that many plants produce in order to reproduce. You see, because plants can't move around to find mates, they make pollen grains that can travel to reach receptive partners. And the different types of plants use different means to transport their pollen, and many use the wind. These include grasses and pines, and when they flower in springtime, they produce lots of lightweight pollen grains that can travel a long way on the wind. Now grass pollen are so tiny that you can't see them, but they still cause health problems to many people. They can trigger allergic reactions or hay fever in some people and life-threatening asthma attacks in others. Both hay fever and asthma sufferers can reduce their symptoms by staying inside when there's heaps of grass pollen in the air. And figuring out how much pollen is in the air is part of what I do. My colleagues and I do a pollen count every day and it involves using a Burkhardt spore trap. This device contains a glass slide with a sticky surface that's exposed to the air, which dust, pollen and spores get stuck on. We remove the slide at the same time every day and take it to the lab for examination. In here, we stain the pollen grains purple with a chemical called calberlas so they'll be easy to see. Then we use a microscope to count everything that's stuck on the slide twice. The first time we count pollen grains of every type and the second time we count just the grass pollen grains. Next we do some simple maths on the grass pollen result to get the average number of grass pollen grains per cubic metre of air for the day. Today's pollen count is 85 and you can think of that finding like this. If a one metre cube had been filled with air here many times over the last 24 hours, on average the cube would have contained 85 grains of grass pollen. And to put that into perspective for you, 16 grass pollen grains is a low count and 576 grass pollen grains is the highest count we've seen. Once we know the pollen count for the day, we can work out the pollen forecast by factoring in the weather forecast for the next day, plus knowledge about grass biology. And we quote both the pollen count and the pollen forecast to the media, so they can keep everyone informed. Because as lovely as most people find this time of year, for others it's the prime time for itching, sneezing and wheezing.